that bottom now. So uh, we'll notice that these giant chivalis here, these big fish, you'll see, uh, they'll get bigger and bigger throughout the tour. So we'll get onto the uh, airplanes or the shipwrecks, you'll see the really large ones. Hi right, everybody, um, today, no, actually I got this a couple of days ago, but I've been under the weather. Where, oh, where am I, Tudor? Black Bay Heritage, whatever, the, the Burgundy Bezel. This is my pen. It should be a pen. SSV Spin Fisher 4500. I took off my name. Don't like having that thing out there if possible. I don't know, this guy used a bunch of tape everywhere, which is good. Thought I cut off all the tape. I'm gonna try to ask the guy how come there's no bo original box to it. But I need to get all this packing out. I'm kind of disappointed I don't have the original box to this. The reason why I do know that it's gonna come out with the new Spin Fisher VI or 6. <laughs> I know that's coming out, but they actually got rid of this. The big drag on the bottom. So basically, this has a slammer drag if I'm not mistaken. And they went with the HT100, if I'm not mistaken, for a newer one, even though it says HT100, but has a slammer drag on the bottom. So I'm wondering if it costs more expensive for the slammer drag. This is supposed to be a water-resistant reel when they first debuted it years ago uh, I've been only catching up with the industry now or with the sport of fishing because I've been out of it for about 18 years and to be honest um, my other half real caught me a decent sized papillo or a baby trevally and it was like a two three pound trevally and I was lucky enough to have my boy with me and after that he wanted to just try to spin the reel at least to get the understanding of spinning it but he has to learn the idea of casting it out Cause I bought her a uh, three thousand five hundred. Cause I figure, <coughs> figure it's you don't need a bigger reel, especially for your other half. And I put twenty pound of braid on top of her reel. Let me get it. Sorry, I had to go get it. Um, this is it right over here. Spinning Fisher 3500. She's a lefty, so 
I put the handle on the left side or on the other side for her. I'm a right hander, so of course I'm gonna keep it on the conventional side. So at least my hand is in control of the pole, whipping it out. And so far actually I I love her reel. Cause I took it out once or twice without her because I broke my reel. I broke my dial wall. And let me try double check this because I can see some marks over there but can live with that just want to make sure it's not used because this is all being put together right now as we're speaking as I'm making this video because I keep on getting a uh, duped on many different levels on eBay it's not eBay's fault it's the sellers and or buyers let's go look at this how much braid can I take my eyes is not the best right now so let's go grab this Mono braid. So fifteen pound three sixty five yards, twenty pound just two eighty, thirty pound two hundred yards. Honestly, I bought um the big spool of thirty pound tests, but I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Especially if it can only hold 200 yards on here. That's only two football fields. So I might have to buy another spool of 20 pound tests. Because 20 pound tests is actually plenty enough. That's what I think. And the 20 pound tests. I've been getting wind knots up the yin yang maybe because I overspooled it. That's what I'm assuming. Because I don't know. Back in the day, 18 years ago or whatever, I was throwing braid. I had no issues, and that's with the SS's. That wasn't braid, braid ready, braid this, braid that. Nothing ready, but I just spooled it with braid and it worked just fine. And I could get, I could get just as far, just as far distance as my friend that was throwing a conventional reel <coughs> off of a spinner. But of course, um, of course he wasn't throwing heavy weight. Neither was I. I was throwing only like four ounces. He was throwing about the same, so basically, we basically got the same amount of yardage. Maybe I was going a little bit further than him. I think that kind of made him upset, but it is what it is. But I, I was throwing braided line for a long time, and I never did have that issue until recently. Just maybe, I think the new spools is more picky or more finicky. Because I can't even see the outer outer ring where I'm supposed to stop. I think I overspooled it with the braid. I think I was supposed to stop at the very last line. And I actually went way over it. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason why I'm getting wind knots up that yin yang. I should have did a little bit more research about that. But anyway, live... Um, just gotta live and learn basically and wind knots is a pain in the butt to get out to be honest because I throw it out and I ta -ta 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 -ta, right to the eyes I was like what what is that so I kind of reel it back in until get the wind knot kind of close to the tip of the pole then I just 
start pulling in my lure. So I'm just getting ready to just cut the whole line if I cannot undo the knot. Anyway, probably because I am over doing the reel with too much line. So that's probably the problem. And for me, I, I, I love these spin fishers. These are like night and day difference from the SS's from yesteryear. The only bad thing is it's made in China. Same as the slammer I, I just got. Same as the slammer I got. <laughs> the 8500 high speed. Same as the battle too. <coughs> but. Um, for this price. I think I spent less than $100. I guess I can't go wrong. That's what I think. Yeah, I spent less than $100. And I honestly think this will last me for years. This and the Slammer. Slammer 8500. I need to get a little bit more into the groove of fishing. Get my muscle memory back down. Because it, it feels heavy. So, I gotta get my muscle memory back down with these smaller reels first and then start throwing out the giant reel. And I love these drags. It's like night and day difference from yesteryear spin fishers, the SS's. No matter how big, I had like the 8,500, 7,500. SS is before you crank down the drag and you still can't physically move it with your hand. This one, good luck on trying to move it without trying to bust your hand or the, or the spool. So, can't wait till I take this out and the uh, slammer. Just too bad I didn't have my GoPro on when I caught the. Papillo is a decent size, 2-3 pounds, and had my boy with me, so I'm hoping I get over my cold and get on to fishing besides working and everything else, but I shouldn't complain, at least I'm somewhat healthy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing of this spin fisher because... This is going to be a great um, tool in my fishing experience. It's going to be a great one. Um, I can foresee myself using this probably more than everything else. Even the Slammer 5500. Just because of the size is a 4500. A little bit smaller. And more than likely I'm going to start boxing up my old SS's and just put it into storage I suppose so I can share it with my boy when he grows bigger and he understands and then can teach him on the newer things and then bring out the older reels and make him understand there's a big difference between days of yesteryear and compared to now days of yesteryear uh, the drag would only go so tight let's see even that was kind of like this where it gives kind of plenty gave kind of plenty resistance but that's back in the day where you have to kind of understand start to hold your spool so you can create a little bit more drag and then you have to kind of finesse the fish in and then hold down the spool pull up crank 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 like the newer things now it makes life so much more easier 
the drag even on this SS is is wonderful. It's nothing like I ever felt before. Cause my last reels was the SS's and the one Daiwa emblem. In the Daiwa emblem for the size, that drag was awesome too, but and that's yesteryear's tip of technology, but I cannot really complain. <coughs> oh well, just I better stop my rambling. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing because I know I'm going to enjoy this reel. Okay, have yourself a good day. Oh, thank you and have yourself a good day.